This episode of App Judgment is brought to you by Netflix. Head over to www.netflix.com slash AJ for your free trial. Hey everyone, and welcome to App Judgment, your source for mobile app reviews from Revision 3. Today we're talking about an app that was actually banned from the App Store this week, um, but it's got kind of an interesting story behind it. And with us is Chris Lazinski, yep. who uh, managed to get his greasy little uh, meat, meat paws Whoa. on the app. Greasy? During, during Excuse me, like I'm some <laughs> sort of like hacker or something, okay. It well, was probably only, not like a hacker, was, more like a creepy guy. Well, but, it, it was only up in the store for like what, like less than, less than a day? Like, I, I, somebody told me 45 minutes. 45 minute window to get this excellent flashlight app. Okay, so at first glance it looks like basically a really crappy flashlight app. But what is so what what is the story behind this app? I remember when like the first like the Edge iPhone came out, uh, there was there was a tethering app that you could uh, set up like a uh, an ad hoc network with, and it was and it, it was up for just a little bit, and then they took it down because it was like the first tethering app. This app is actually is that, but under disguise of being a flashlight app. A guy put the, the this ad hoc tethering capability uh, beneath the skin of the app. So when Apple was reviewing it, they were like, "Man, this is awful. It's just uh, it's a app that has different colored flashlights, yellow and green, and stuff." And, uh, and it was what, like 99 cents? And it's 99 cents, so it's very inconspicuous. Right. In actuality, if you hit the right combination of colors on the app screen, it uh, opens up the Wi-Fi connections. So that's really, really awesome and also like a huge no-no and totally illegal according to the rules in place, the agreements between Apple Correct. and Correct, right? yeah. I mean, you can tether your iPhone, it's just it costs another $20 a month and that's just part of the agreement with AT&T. It's not like there's some sort of technical difficulty with the phone where it can't possibly tether. And tethering, I should say, is when you use uh, your cell phone to connect to wireless internet with your computer. So you can browse the internet mobily. Can we actually see how it works? Sure, here's all you do. You open up the app like you would any other application. And uh, then you hit blue, yellow, red. And then the upper right hand corner. Oops, sometimes it doesn't get it. There we go. And then it turns purple, which there's not even a purple option. So you're like, what? Huh. How is it purple? I've got a purple flashlight now. But actually, right now, it's uh, sharing its uh, its connection. So you can, if you set up an ad hoc network on your computer, uh, you can connect to the the phone. I don't know the, the nitty gritty of ad hoc networks, but. Um, how did they like publicize the code? I mean, was it did you just have, have to kind of be like in the know, or? I guess you had to be in the know. There was ton, there were tons of blogs that were writing about it, obviously, over the past couple of days. So they probably just got the word out there, and then as soon as Apple heard about it, they took it down immediately, and that's why you can't get it anymore. But if you did get it in that little window, then like you legitimately have free tethering on your phone. You don't have to pay that extra twenty dollars a month, and and AT and T can't tell either, or um, Apple, or for that matter, um, because just. It could be just you browsing on your phone. I mean, all they see is just data being exchanged between your phone and the internet, so. So my question is, with Apple's notoriously strict rules, guidelines for getting apps in the App Store, how did this fly under the radar? Yeah, that's kind of an interesting thing, is that, uh, that Apple must not review code, or I've heard from people that they don't actually go through your code and say, well, that's a no-no, and that's you should switch that. It kind of opens the door for people to just like have spam apps that are pretend flashlight apps and other insecurities and stuff like that. So you know, maybe maybe Apple's strict review policy isn't that uh, bulletproof. Yeah, kind of makes you wonder how many other uh, Trojan horse type apps mm -hmm. there are out there. So we know it was available for only a very small window of time. Do you have any any idea how long it was up for? No, it was only probably a couple hours because the news just spread like crazy on the blogs and stuff that cover tech things like this. Um, very controversial, so of course everyone was writing about it so that they could get those views. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, so just I, none of us in the office actually have it. This is just I'm borrowing my friend Kevin's phone. Um, he happened to download it in that small window um, when he was like in the car reading about it on his phone. He's like, they're going to take it down any minute. All right, well, makes you wonder. Mm -hmm. Thanks for joining us, Chris. Of course, thank you. And if you have any of your apps you'd like to see us review, send us an email at appjudgment at revision3.com. You can also find us on Twitter. 
Facebook, YouTube, and as always on our homepage at revision3.com slash appjudgment. Thanks for watching. Netflix delivers movies directly to your home, saving you time, money, and hassle. As a Netflix Unlimited member, you get DVDs by mail in about one business day. Plus, you can instantly watch thousands of TV episodes and movies streamed directly to your PC, Macs, or right to your TV via a Netflix-ready device like the Xbox 360, PS3, and the Nintendo Wii. Watch as many movies as you want. Shipping is free, and there are never any late fees or due dates. Keep the movies for as long as you like. DVDs by mail, plus instantly right to your TV. Get unlimited movies two ways for only $8.99 a month. As a new member and as an App Judgment viewer, you can get a free tryout membership. Go to www.netflix.com slash AJ and sign up now. Be sure to use this URL so that they know we sent you.